seriously. Now, some people always buy chicken in portions because they find the idea of roasting a whole one too daunting. Actually, it's incredibly simple. All you have to do is follow a few rules for a perfect roast chicken. First thing is, go and buy your roast chicken. Now, this is a supermarket one. They're roughly a standard size, something I'd be like, 1.25 kilos, something like that, which is roughly sort of three pounds. First thing to do, always remove the chicken from the plastic container. That tends to melt if it goes in the oven. OK, also sometimes you find a little bit of paper soaking up the liquid there and make sure that's gone as well. Nice chicken. Some ingredients I'm going to pop inside. I've got a little bit of garlic, a little bit of thyme, a little bit of lemon. Just a bit of savoury seasoning. And also, another thing to do, if you're buying from the butcher, sometimes have a look inside, because often they put the giblets in a little plastic bag, so you don't want those when you're roasting. So let's just take some garlic and slice through that. And just rub a little just over the skin there like that. And then pop some other bits inside the cavity. In with a little bit of thyme as well. Just pop it in there. This isn't, you're not going to eat this. It's just about giving a little bit of aromatics together with some sliced lemon as well. Okay, just pop that all in there. And that will add beautiful flavours to your chicken. Now, next thing is a little bit of olive oil. I love dripping. If you like dripping and your doctor tells you you can use it, then use it. It's lovely. But we're getting a bit healthy now. Just massage the oil all over. Get it into those nooks and crannies. And then take some pepper. Now, always put the seasoning on after the oil, because if you don't, the oil will just wash it off when it goes on. A little bit of rock salt. And there, we're pretty well ready to roast. But a little tip for you. I like a nice gravy with a roast chicken. So what I do is I make a base at this stage by using these vegetables here, carrots, onions, celery, that sort of thing goes into a roasting tray just by those packs. You can get those little winter packs in the supermarket. They're perfect. A little bit of thyme on there as well. The extra garlic. This acts as a base for your chicken to sit on as well. See, the chicken skin is not sticking to your roasting tray. Just going to wash my digits here. OK. Now, you'll notice I've left the string on there because I want to keep it in its trust shape. If it comes without string, just tie the drumsticks together there, the legs, and that's fine. You cut the, chick the, the string off after it's been cooked. Now, into the dish goes some stock and some white wine, if you want. It can just be stock. This acts as a base for your gravy, because as that chicken roasts, all the juices go down into the gravy, and you get this wonderful base for a gravy. It goes down into the stock, so a wonderful base for the gravy. That goes in, ideally, sort of 220 degrees to start with. After about 20 minutes, turn it down to 200. Wow, look at this. And you will have yourself, after about an hour, 20 minutes a pound, 20 minutes over, as they say. But nowadays, with the aid of modern technology, we have a better system of testing whether the chicken is ready. And it is one of these little things. And this is a meat thermometer. And it's very, very simple to use. You've just got to turn it on. Beautiful. Take it out of its little sheath. And then you push it through the thickest part of the thigh. And what we're looking for there is to get over 75 degrees. Between 75 and 85 degrees, you will have a perfect, there you go, that is 70, 75, 76, that's going to be a perfect chicken. Buy yourself one of these for about six quid. It'll save you the hassle of overcooking your chicken. So many people overcook their chicken, or so many people undercook chicken, which is just as bad. It's more dangerous if you undercook it. So buy one of those. That's it. Beautiful stuff. And you've got all those lovely juices to make your gravy with. So let's just take that. Now, this the meat thermometer. If you haven't got one of these, just put a skewer or a knife through. And if the juices run clear, that is a perfectly cooked bird. Now, all you've got to do now is just lift the chicken off there, tip out any juice. Look at all those lovely juices. Pop it on there to rest with a little bit of foil in a warm place. And then get on with making a gravy. Fab. 